Man Jr. for what my teacher wears back at you on this Thursday on what I would have worn. Getting dressed with your boy during this coronavirus pandemic. First and foremost, as I always say, make sure we are staying clean out there. Make sure we washing hands. Make sure, you know, we're doing everything that the CDC and that the government is advising us to do. Um, here in Louisiana, we are on a current lockdown state, a state at home type state. Government issued out this a few days ago because Louisiana is the fastest growing, I mean, I guess you can say coronavirus outbreak, you know, in these past like seven to 10 days. Do me a favor, stay safe out there, but let's get into what I would have worn if I would have gone to work on a Thursday. Thursday are typically my days. My day is where I really start relaxing on the things that I'm putting on because I want to kind of, that's normally my kind of later on in the week. I, I normally do a lot of my assessments, you know, with my students. So my staple piece is this Arna Palmer oversized sweater. For those who don't know, Arna Palmer was a prolific golfer and he had his own like clothing line and I absolutely I normally don't do the oversized look but in this case I am going to do the oversized look so I normally start to try to center around just this this camel color sweater and I absolutely love this sweater recent thrift find again and so what I did was I just paired it with some black pants black pants black just simple black slacks um and the shirt i went with was a white and like went white with black window pane um look i didn't want to do too much again guys it's, it's thursday we're kind of relaxing a little bit i don't just see something in my closet and put it on it's a reason and a meaning behind whatever it is i'm wearing it's a meaning behind that my clothes normally dictate how I am going to be throughout that day. You know, if I'm buttoned up, you know, I'm, I'm probably not going to be as relaxed. If I'm a, if I'm giving you more of a relaxed look, I'm probably not going to be as intense. Although the energy is still going to be there, I might not be as intense as I was, you know, on that Monday or Tuesday. So what I did was I paired it with also a black tie. This tie is actually a uh, Tommy Hilfiger tie as well. Um, and I do believe I did get this one from TJ Maxx, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go with some accessories that I'm going to choose to go with. I went with some brown and black accessories because I have on camel and black. Who say you can't rock the two together? Let's see how it's done. And I went with the black, you know, with this camel, because normally, if I'm just going to be honest, I would have probably gone blue. But because I literally had worn, I would have worn blue Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I switched it up and I went black. And I also like these pictures my family and I took um, a few months ago and I'll throw that up right now. And I just love the color scheme that my wife came up with. It was something, if I'm being honest, I probably wouldn't have just come up on my own. But when I saw it together in the photo, I really liked it. So I really wanted to do that with this look. Um, I paired it with just some black, some black, just little dress sneakers that I got from H&M. As a matter of fact, these sneakers are, sneakers are actually from H&M. If I'm not mistaken, I believe they cost me $29.99. Again, guys, I, I, I shop smart. I shop smart. And because I, I always have... I guess you can say a lot of shoes, but they're not very expensive. A lot of times people say, you know, you buy cheap shoes, they don't last long. But when you got kind of like a lot of decent quality shoes, like H&M makes decent quality sneakers. And I and I don't wear them every single day. These shoes, these shoes, sneakers might get worn maybe two to three times a month. But I decided to switch the look up and to even relax it even more. So I lost the tie and I actually went with just a black turtleneck. I really love this all black look, but I still dressed it up with the loafers that I have on. These are velvet loafers from JCPenney's. These things only cost me, I think like 40 bucks with the recent campaign that I that I did with them. Um, yes, 40 bucks, $40 it ended up costing me for these, um, these loafers. Um, again, as you see, the watch is a guest watch, this watch, I got this watch, I mean, I know at least about seven years ago, I got it off eBay for like under 40 bucks, maybe even under 30 bucks. Again, I don't spend a whole lot of money on my time pieces because I kind of like to switch them out and I, I don't kind of like to wear the same time piece over and over and over and over again, unless, you know, it's my Apple watch, which I normally do have on. Um, but I really like this elevated, elegant look. Normally I have on some character glass to kind of elevate the look even more. But this look actually takes on 
what my third day would actually be like if I was in school. Kind of how my energy would be, kind of how my personality would be. Very relaxed, but if you look at the shoes, the school still in business, you feel like shoes. So these are normally, these are normally clear signs of kind of how I'm feeling. And it's funny how so much students have yeah, a really But I know a lot of people, they probably gonna watch this video. You know, probably try to put two and two together. But anyway, anyway, if you love this look, if you love these looks, you know, before you tell me, before you tell me you love me, which one would you have chosen? You want the towel or the turtle neck? Um, and after you've done that, guys, after you left me that comment, go ahead and go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you have not subscribed to this channel right now, hit that button also. Make sure you hit that bell notification um, so you do not miss a video. Guys, I'm going to keep coming with that. Make sure you don't miss them. Make sure you don't miss them. And until tomorrow, I'll see you when I see you. I'll let you vote.